Okay, today I'm going to take a look at the 8,810 pound ramps. All right. So you got plenty of cardboard protection for them, so I always like seeing that. Looks like we got some gloves and some pins. That's good. And there we go. Now, picking up both these ramps together is kind of heavy, but picking up one at a time really isn't that bad. They are full aluminum. Look at that. This is incredibly beefy. Like, just looking at the thickness of this plate, this is super heavy duty. This, I gotta look at that. Yeah, that is a full half inch thick plate of aluminum. It does taper up at the top, so it tapers to, it's about a quarter inch. But even still, that is a super heavy duty plate. We also have traction on the top. These bars, these are four and an eighth inch tall by about one and five eighths thick. So, I mean, incredibly heavy duty. We can also see we are fully welded all the way around the side, around the top, around the inside, around the bottom. These are not spot welds. These are not shore welds. They welded the entire thing. So that's how you get 8,810 pounds of load carrying capacity. To put that in perspective, an F-150 pickup is rated for 3,325 pounds of load. That includes the people that are sitting inside the car driving it. So what that means is one of these ramps by themselves can hold more weight than an F-150 pickup. So anything you could put in the back of that truck, this is going to be able to support. So these rungs going across, say rungs, you could actually use this thing as like a short ladder if you wanted to in a pinch. Probably not a good idea, but possible to be done. We also, this is kind of cool. So this is actually at a slight angle. So you can see these are kind of angled up a little bit. So what that means is when you get your tire in front of it, you're not going to have to worry as much about rolling backwards. We also got a little bit of space in here, which is going to aid to that. So in the event that you get your motorcycle halfway up, you're not going to worry about rolling back down, hurting yourself, or maybe even damaging the property. So love seeing that. It is about nine and three quarters inches from top to top and the spacing inside is about six and a half inches. So as long as your tires are bigger than six and a half inches, you'll be able to make it work with this. We do have an angled support here on the bottom, so you don't have to worry about running your tire into that and popping your tire when you're trying to get it loaded. But one of the really cool things is we actually have this hole up here on the top, and that is designed for these pins. Now, just because it's designed for the pins doesn't mean you couldn't just run a hook through it if you wanted to put a strap on it, which is probably what I'm going to be doing. But we do have these pins. It's a nice thick pin right around a half an inch thick. This is a very heavy duty pin and the pin comes with a pin. So if the trailer or whatever that is that you're loading to has a hole in it, you can drop that in. Then you can take this pin on the bottom side, clip that in and that will hold this ramp in place. Now that's very important because you'll notice with a lot of people that are loading motorcycles, especially for the first time, they'll go a little bit too slow. So they'll approach from the bottom at a pretty good clip and then when they start getting to the top, they start slowing down and slowing down. And then once they get to the top, they always, you know, they need to get over that hump. So they just gun it. They have a lot less weight on the ramp at that point and it just shoots the ramp out the back. So for safety, you need to have this thing locked down somehow. You can use the pin for that. You can use a strap. Whatever it is, it doesn't really matter. Just do something because you want to keep yourself safe. You want to keep the motorcycle safe. And of course, anybody that's standing behind it. Now, you may or may not have a spot for your pin on the back of your truck. Sometimes if you take the tailgate off, you'll have a slot between the bed and then the bumper so that you can stick this in and you can hold it with that. I think what this is mostly for is for anything that's got a wooden bottom, like a trailer or something like that, where you can drill a hole and then you can run this pin in through that. Now, for me, loading anything with a truck, I'm just going to be using a strap of the hook. I'm going to run it through that. If I have to, I can hollow this out. This is a solid, thick piece of aluminum right here, so that's not going to be a problem. Those are some incredible ramps. Now, this is a set, so the set together can hold 8,810 pounds. One by itself, I would assume, then is 4,405. So know what they're rated for, even with that. These things can hold a ton of weight. Uh, make that four tons. And I also just want to quickly mention, because I mentioned tailgates, tailgate on a truck is not designed to hold that much weight. So if you're going to be loading something super heavy into the back of the truck, Probably a good idea to take the tailgate off anyway. No, just a word of caution. And the length from the base to where the bed would be is 68 inches, so five feet, eight inches. Just quite a bit. And actually one of the nice things about having two of them like this, if you are gonna be loading up a motorcycle, you can put these side by side and you can walk the motorcycle up one of them and instead of having to like try to step up onto the bed, you can lay the other one on that and you can walk up one, push the motorcycle up the other. And then again, having these rungs that are spaced out like this, if you gotta stop and take a breather or resituate yourself, you can actually do that with this ramp. So very well designed ramp. So yeah, I'm gonna take these things to the shop and I'm gonna play around with them. Right there is a little over a thousand pounds. So that
That thing, I don't think that thing flexed. That is incredibly strong.